this works now. This is Francis Media's Saint of the Day for May 13th. Today we celebrate Our Lady of Adam. Between May 13 and October 13, 1917, three Portuguese children received apparitions of Our Lady near Fatima, Portugal, 100 or so miles north of Lisbon. Within a few years, two of the children had died. The third visionary, Lucia de Santos was still living as a Carmelite nun more than 80 years later. During the apparitions, Mary asked the children to pray the rosary on behalf of world peace, for the end of World War I, for sinners, and for the conversion of Russia. Mary also gave the children three secrets. Sister Lucia revealed the first secret in 1927, which concerned devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The second secret was a vision of hell. In 2000, Pope John Paul II directed the Holy See's Secretary of State to reveal the third secret. It spoke of a bishop in white who was shot by a group of soldiers who fired bullets and arrows into him. Many people linked this to the assassination attempt against John Paul II in St. Peter's Square on May 13, 1981. The Feast of Our Lady of Fatima, approved by the local bishop in 1930, was added to the church's worldwide calendar in 2002. There's more about the saints along with inspiration and Catholic resources at our website, saintoftheday.org. From Franciscan Media, this has been Saint of the Day. Thank you for your attention. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Today we celebrate Our Lady of Fatima, and we pray for the repose of the soul of Jack Campbell. Let us pause to acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. 
Hail Mary, God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he, met, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with a baptism of repentance telling the people to believe in the one who is to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue, and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks to God. The responsorial psalm, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the, the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the dust rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to, to prosperity. Sing to God, O Jesus of the earth. Uh, hallelujah. Seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you're talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming, has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you may have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. 
I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I find it kind of sarcastic that the apostles are saying, you do not need to have anyone question you when they are the ones that were constantly questioning Jesus. God bless them. Today Jesus reminds us of that peace. That peace that he leaves to us. A peace not of this world, a different type of peace. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Amen. <clears throat> Approaching with the need of our world, confident of his love and concern. <clears throat> For the church and her work of missionary discipleship, may the Spirit continue to help her flourish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. For lawmakers in every level of government, may God lead them to policies rooted in justice and human dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are absent from the life of the church, may the Lord encourage them in their faith and deliver them from doubt. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in our vocations to holiness, may God accompany us to a life of fulfillment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have departed from this life and hope for the next, may God welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Jack Gamble, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Larry Sexton. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for those who have requested our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of abundance, you know all of our thoughts and concerns. We ask you to hear what we bring before you and grant us what we need. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Put of the earth and work of human hands, you will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For to you, we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands, you will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Accept the Señor nuestro corazón contrito nuestro espíritu mente. Que se sea nuestro sacrificio, que sea agradable en tu presencia. Señor Dios, haz de todo. Praise, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of the same, for our good and the of all the Holy Church.
O God, receive the offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. And without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. For him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions, adores, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virgins of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. So sign in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we bring, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the time you wish to pray, then enter willingly to his passion, to his bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Senor, man, you don't speak. What is that? In a similar way, when supper was sended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and as you say, you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, the Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also Jack Campbell, and our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Lucia and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our saints, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be shown to my Lord and my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be given. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal love.
Let us pray. <coughs> Renew by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Sing together. Hail, holy queen.